Are you ready for... Reaction time. What's up, people? Welcome back. I'm going to get into seven new things of Star Wars Lego Skywalker series. Can't wait, man. We'll be streaming that live on this channel. Just to let you know. I see the shirt. I see the background. Let's get into it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga promises to become the biggest Lego game ever. <laughs> TT Games has packed in all nine episodes of the core saga with over 45 story missions and 23 unlockable hub planets. Here are seven new things you should know about Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Don't expect to be funneled down corridors with one set path. Choice is a central pillar of the Skywalker saga, meaning you have some freedom to customize your play experience. Choose to play the stories in whatever order you want. You don't have to start with episode one. Simply complete an episode to unlock the next in that trilogy. This freedom extends to puzzles, encounters, and routes through a level. Here, for instance, you can blast through enemies with a turret or find a way to put out the fire and go around. Go there or go not. No one will tell you what to try in the Skywalker Saga. The mighty Kylo Ren takes that ridiculous thing off. You're just a child in a mask. The Skywalker Saga has the largest roster of characters yet. There are over 300 to control and they all have their own unique abilities. New to the series is the class system. Each character has their own specific class, which is upgraded by finding kyber bricks. Wow, that's amazing! They're similar to the gold bricks in previous games in that they're your reward for exploring a world. One stashed behind a cobweb in the cantina, or trapped inside this water filtration system. Spend them wisely to unlock new abilities and unleash them in the stickiest of situations. Normally, seeing your Lego pieces covered in sand would be a source of great irritation. But here, it's a delight. TT Games has put immense effort into a new environmental weathering system that realistically chips away at bricks and makes the whole galaxy close. feel more grounded. Every interior is completely constructed from Lego 2, and the new camera perspective lets you get up close to inspect every nook and detail. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Previously, fights in LEGO Star Wars meant mashing the attack button and popping off the occasional force power. This time, combat has been totally overhauled with elaborate new systems. This is your combo meter, and the higher it goes, the higher value studs you'll be rewarded with. If you don't shake up combos enough, it might provide an enemy the opportunity to block. Meanwhile, certain characters now have counters, and Jedi can hurl objects at enemies. A variety of combos and techniques are needed to take down the biggest bosses, Ooh. so straightforward button mashing won't quite cut it anymore. You remember the password for this thing, 318? 318. I'm 764. Speaking of combat, third-person shooting is another new addition. Characters who wield blasters can now duck into cover, allowing them to hunker down and strategically pick off enemies instead of rushing in and firing from the hip. Pew, 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 pew. Also new is the ability to shoot the helmets off stormtroopers, which is both as badass and hilarious as you'd expect. In Skywalker Saga, you have complete control of starships. Barrel rolls and evasive wow. maneuvers are now a breeze, making space combat against the Empire or First Order proper edge-of-seat dogfights. But be careful. Random encounters are now a threat, and if a Star Destroyer notices you swooping in the distance, it might just send its TIE Fighters after you. Still, you'll be rewarded for exploring all the hidden nooks of the galaxy from your ship. Keep your eyes peeled for Kyber Comets, for instance, which float through space and contain five Kyber Bricks. You want to nuke them like a Death Star for some sweet rewards. Oh, and oh. finally, there ain't no party like a Star Wars party. Hub worlds are open areas to explore, outside of each episode's linear storyline. And this time, they're bigger than ever. Echo Base on Hoth has an unlockable extra that turns it into a disco that pumps with original Star Wars dance music. Come here to hang out with characters, take a break, and soak up the tunes. 
Those were seven new things in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. It lands in your galaxy on the 5th of April, across Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch and PC. For more on LEGO Star Wars, stick with IGN. Well, there you go, my friends. It's going down here on the 5th. We will be streaming later on today, so make sure you like, come and subscribe, be here. We're going to play a little um, uh, Force Awakened. Just to get ourselves a little loose on this channel, we're gonna play a little of that. Excited to do the first live stream on here. Um, that is about gaming. It's just gonna be my gaming series I do on the channel. Not gonna be all gaming, guys. We're gonna be strict reactions. But like, comment, subscribe, it's your boy. And much love to y'all. Happy Friday to you. Blessed weekend. See you next one. Peace.